Right, morning. I didn't think this one through, folks. It's four o'clock in the morning on a Thursday, and I'm going to clean like a really cool play area, wet pool playground, you know, the channel favorites. Pools in like the apex but, of all of the evolution of process. Sorry, Jerogan, experience coming in there. But it's going to be too dark for you to, it's already too dark for you to see now. Um, I've got from 4.30 till 10 a.m. to finish it because it's open seven days a week. So I need to be in and out before the kiddies turn up. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm gonna turn up. As soon as the sun comes up, I will show you the job. Um, I may be a little bit of the way through, but I'll start on the bits that are less interesting so you guys can get the chance to see the stuff that's actually interesting. Yeah, it's pitch black, guys. Right, I'll see you when I get there. Ooh, it's a bit spooky around here, guys. Look at me, trusted with a key, look, can you believe it? Mike's here as well this morning, everybody. He's come to help me out today because the guys are working, so I can't have them up this early and go and do a job as well, can I? As long as we got lights, I didn't think we'd have lights. Thinking that on the way up, I yeah, I know it will get light in a bit, but I was thinking it might be in the dark for a while. Uh, right, yeah, you cannot see anything on my camera though. Um, so just in the back, mate. Was it, was it this? Yes, yeah, all this we got to do, yeah. So we've got six hours, I think, or five and a half hours to get it done, so should be possible. I'm going to get started. I'm just going to do this lighter green bit here, um, and then it gets dirtier the further out we get that way anyway so i'll tune back in when the sun's come up a little bit it's starting to rise anyway so give it 30 minutes and we should be good to go all right guys so it started well in the dark or so i thought and it was around this point i started to realize it was really really streaky like unusually streaky so my first thought was right i've got something wrong with my flat surface clean i thought there was a block nozzle or something checked it definitely wasn't so I thought, man, this is wrong. I tested it a few more times, and then I was like, right, Mike, get the chemicals out, because we're gonna have to try and pre-treat this, because it just does not look like it wants to come off. Um, so we started doing that, and then, yeah, not much better, an improvement, but yeah, so at this point, I really started to panic about what was gonna happen on this job. It is so absorbent and bouncy. Um, but like I say, I've pre-treated this, cleaned it, and post-treated it, so the post-treatment's sitting on it now and it's still not where I want it to be. It should all look a bit better once I rinse it off. And to be honest, I might even have to put another chemical treatment on it at a stronger dilution as well. The problem is, with the time, each treatment is you want to leave it at least 30 minutes. So if I had to do that for all the sections, I mean like this over here, it is so bad. I know I could get it looking really nice, but I don't have the time. I've got four hours. Not going to be possible. I'm going to have to do this in two stages. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish that one. Um, I'm probably definitely going to need to do another treatment on it. And then I'm going to do this one here. This is the main one that they actually called me in to do, this lighter blue section. Um, I'll focus on this and then we'll just have to see what time it is because I'm not going to do a half job and, you know, leave areas not how I want them to be just to get the whole thing done. Um, obviously, I am doing this just this job for a video. Um, but I'm not going to half ask my results just because I'm not getting paid a load of money for the job. You know what I mean? So I think that's the best course. This might be a two-parter, guys, or I might just save this. And when I get back off holiday, I'll come finish it off. So I'll start a brand new section with high hopes, thinking the green bit was just an anomaly. But it wasn't. Uh, this one was even worse. So we did the pre-treatment, um, started cleaning, and already I knew straight away. I was like, oh, my God. I've left the chemical to sit on it for, like, 20 minutes and it did not even make a difference. It didn't change it at all. It was slight color enhancement, that's it. I started cleaning, streaks galore again. I'm going over the green bits. Guys, my rule for pressure washing is if you see green, that's a thumbs up because it's gonna come off easy. You don't even need chemicals to get rid of green. Uh, not the case on this, not the case at all. It just didn't come off, didn't come off at all. So we post treat and again and again, um, and we end up simply just running out of time and I'm like panicking because we're getting close to a deadline. Um, yeah, and then that's where we end up. Oh yeah, it was Mike's first time with me sort of on a proper pressure washing job as well. He was probably thinking, who's this amateur? Doesn't even know how to clean a playground. Um, I was embarrassed of myself. Uh, we do eventually get to the bottom of it and I do figure it out later on in the video on the return visit, uh, which was this morning actually, so I'm editing this video. 
the day that I finished it. So yeah. Right then folks, I have categorically failed. Failure, loser, mm -mm. I suck. I should just quit my bloody job because I can't clean goddamn wet floor. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to come back guys. So there's no way this is gonna be the video. So if you're seeing this, it's gonna be a week or two on from today. I've come back off holiday and the next clip is gonna be me coming back. First thing, 4.30 a.m., probably with another van as well. And there'll be at least two of us on it blasting probably 300 pounds worth of chemical on this thing to get it clean so yeah and i've uh, done this job at cost as well so i'm gonna make a big fat loss right then people pitch black again 4 40 in the morning man of my word i came back to finish the job colin's here today so i've called in the backup we needed two machines for the rinsing how you doing buddy all right tired. are you tired mate tired. i am fired up today man <laughs> i'm so fired up man I really am. I slept downstairs and everything. I was like, I ain't risking a baby waking me up and nothing today. Oh, right then, folks. So, blue bit's done. Just needs another treatment. I'm sorry, you've probably all heard this in the last one. Green bit's done. Just needs another treatment. So, all we've got to do is this big, dark blue bit. Oh, and that sort of white bit over there. I might actually start on that bit, to be honest. Again, guys, really sorry. I'm going to try my best to film this. And when the sun comes up, I'll actually start filming properly. So, this is probably going to be the worst video ever, but at least we're trying, you know what I mean? All right, let's go. This one actually made me laugh. In real life, I laughed because it looks absolutely terrible. Absolutely, it was worse than the others. I, honestly, I could not believe it. It was even worse than the other ones. It's like the, progressively the playground just got worse. I was like, oh my god. Uh, I did indeed buy three hundred pounds worth of chemicals for this job, and did indeed use another three hundred pounds worth of chemicals for the job. So. Man, hardest one ever. And you might think, so someone who jet washes, you'd be like, right Sid, I know what you've done there. You've gone too fast with the flat surface cleaner, or you've got a block jet. None of that is true, guys. Slow, we use 90 degree heat on it, and it still leaves this. It's incredibly inconsistent because it's so spongy. The blue's not looking too bad now. It still needs, the treatment needs to be rinsed off, but as you can see, it's a million miles better than it was. But this, no excuse, we've got to get this right. Right guys, we've figured it out, we've given the hypo a little bit more time to settle and look, some of it 
absolutely perfect and that is the perfect shape of where the foam and the hypochlorite has had more time to sit the problem with this is it's so absorbent like i said before it's the bounciest squidgiest one i've ever done and that is the key it's just super absorbent so the um the the foam the chemical isn't getting chance to sit on top of the surface for long enough because it's just getting absorbed straight away and that is our problem like look at here we've still got bubbles and look underneath absolutely perfectly clean underneath there so this is our issue and which is probably why it struggled to clean that way obviously it's just fucking a decade of dirt guys it's never been done has it so um yeah oh my god it looks terrible so yeah like look at this stripe here look where the foam still is perfectly clean so that's the key so um i've been i thought of an idea we're going to add even more surfactant into the chemical barrels so there's going to be like you saw when i was spraying how foamy it was already but i'm going to add more so it's going to be like a gigantic amount of foam and hopefully that will give it the long longest amount of contact time on the surface before it just sucks in and i think that might be our key to victory here I'm stranded, a castaway, and I'm now sure of no stranger in the sky. Right folks, before I tune back in for the final result, we should be finished in about an hour. Um, we just need to do a 
big rinse down. I just want to apologize for a terrible video. Um, maybe it's turned out okay. I never really know until I start editing them, but the filming on this has been appalling. I'm sorry, it's the time limit, guys. We've got an hour and a half until the place opens. Obviously, we've been here since half four in the morning. It's currently nine, opens at half 10. Um, it's one of them. It's like I've just got to, when it's jobs like this with a time limit on it, I've got to put certain things first. So I just haven't been picking the camera up and changing the camera angles and stuff, but I hope you'll be pleased with the result. Um, here's how that blue's looking at the moment. I'm gonna, not gonna show too much because it is looking okay. I'll see on the final rinse down. Um, but yeah, anyway, right. Next clip will be the final result. Right guys, yeah, just reel me up please, mate. Guys, that was a disaster. You know, I said it was half 10. No, they opened at 10. It's currently three minutes past 10. I've just had to do the quickest rinse down of my life. Two families have already turned up and sent the kids straight on it. I was like, no, 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 no. Give me 10 minutes, please. Um, what do you think? It's not perfect, guys. I know it's not. Oh, still puddle leaking in. Um, it's definitely not perfect, but I think we've saved it. I really do. I remember how bad that was, guys. Holy crap. That's had like four chemical treatments on it. It, it all has. It's all. It's not the blues had about six or seven by now. Um, I think we've done it, haven't we? Again, a little bit on that. I could have got that off if I just had a little bit more time. But yeah. Um, I've got to be happy with that. I really have. The blue, we've made a huge improvement on that again. Um, we've definitely lightened the edges around. Obviously, it's still lighter in the middle, but that's a lot better. There's less of a contrast now. Um, I don't know how well it's coming across on camera. Dark blue, I'm not happy with. I literally just ran out of time. Completely ran out of time. It really needs another strong chemical treatment on this. Um, but at least it's the dark stuff, so you can't really see as bad. The green under there, I just could not get that off for the life of me. There's still a little bit on the other one as well. It's had literally neat hypo scrubbed into it. It hasn't come off, so. Um, crocodile's looking okay again. A little bit patchy here, guys. So I'm not happy. I'm fuming, to be honest, but can you tell by my face? Um, but it's better. I think we've made it passable for now, at least. I would love another day here. Fun fact, I've lost about 600 pound on this job. Um, obviously I, I quoted it like at cost um, for what I thought it was going to cost and extra day, extra staff, a whole lot of extra chemicals, a whole lot of extra fuel. We've done a full tank of diesel as well today for the boiler. Um, yeah, I'm down about 600 quid on this, but I wish I could be walking away really happy with it. Um, but I think we've saved it a little bit. It looks a hell of a lot nicer, doesn't it? I mean yeah hopefully they'll be happy as well um we'll have to see but thanks for watching guys again sorry it was a bit of a crap vid and you couldn't see anything most of the time um next time i get something like this i'll bring a set of lights with me um yeah so you can at least see what we're doing but yeah one final look guys i've got to get out of here big time now i've already had colin park up there um families are arriving i have got to go but it's all neutralized all rinsed off i couldn't leave until it was fully rinsed off i don't want any anyone getting hurt with the chemicals we use so luckily it's raining as well but yeah right thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video have a nice weekend i don't know when this video is going up probably sunday so yeah all right peace out bye bye